You might be familiar with the concept of dehazing an image. Sometimes images have haze or environmental mist that reduces contrast. However, sometimes we want that or even need to add it in to change the mood of a picture. Not all photos should be contrasty, particularly if you want to give them a certain feeling. So for this, we have Atmosphere AI. What Luminar is able to do is analyze the image and detect the amount of detail. It also does a 3D mapping of the scene. Now, on some cameras, you might be familiar with this on a smartphone. They have a LiDAR sensor where it can actually measure the depth of the scene by using a built-in sensor on the camera so it knows how far away the objects are for things like background blur. So this 3D technology for depth mapping can be used to measure how far away things are in the scene for things like blurring or perspective. Let's just go ahead and quickly fix this. We'll use that Enhance AI technology to get the right exposure in the scene. And now from the Creative section, I'll go to Atmosphere AI. When I turn this on, you see it starts to add fog to the scene. And notice how it's starting to mask it based on the mountains. If I adjust the depth slider, it starts to move through the scene and wraps around the mountains. And you can see how it actually recognizes what's further or closer away. You can also adjust the lightness. If we try this in another scene, watch what happens. So in this case, I've got the fog and it recognizes the background that's outside. So it knew that these pillars were closer to the camera than this tree was. And as I adjust the depth slider, it starts to fill the fog in and works in 3D space. Look at it rolling down the hall towards us. We can also do other types. So a layered fog is gonna be more down towards the ground and you see how that rolls across the horizon. And a mist is a softer one that tends to hang out more towards the top of the picture, whereas a haze is gonna come a little bit more through the middle and it brightens up the brighter areas of the photo. You can adjust the lightness of this effect and it's meant to be subtle, but notice how it just changes the feeling in the scene. And this can be combined to change the time of day. You also learned how you can make other changes. So if I wanted to change this to be a sunset, for example, notice how we can layer that sunset in. And by using that atmospheric haze there, we could adjust the global atmospheric haze in the new sky and finesse it down here in the atmosphere. And you see that that rolls forward into the scene, creating a nice overall change. Let's go ahead here, take one more look. And now what we're gonna do is you'll see the fog. There's the fog at the top. I'm gonna to put it now towards on the water. There it is. And as I adjust the depth, look at how it rolls across the surface and it recognizes what's closer and what's further away. This is quite nice. So you could just add to that atmosphere. In this case, creating the feeling of splashing water and mist near the rocks. Remember, you can still combine this with the enhanced technology you learned about and the structure technology so that you get great details. Now those sharper rocks look even better as they cut through the atmosphere. Notice there that the atmosphere is now wrapping around those better sharpened and edge detailed rocks and it looks like a much more believable and interesting effect.